Hey you guys, welcome back to another one of Astronaut's incredible streams. I'm so excited that you got to, you guys decided to click. And of course we have to do our usual routine of waiting every, waiting for everyone to shuffle in and everything. But as you notice on the thumb line, I mean on the thumbnail, in this video I'm going to be talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how they are going to play in Injustice 2. A lot of people have a lot of theories, there's a lot of concepts out there. Some people have really left some great ideas on my cons I mean on my in my comment section for the videos I've uploaded about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so I thought it was about time that we actually do a live stream where we literally sit here and take the time to go step by step through figuring out how these turtles are going to play. Um, welcome to the live stream, guys. Welcome. It's just getting started. You guys are right on time. We're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles gameplay style. So whatever concepts, whatever idea, feel free to say whatever because um, that's basically what this stream is all about. It's all about building community, everyone sharing their thoughts. Don't be afraid to share your thoughts. I don't think anyone right now knows the exact way that the turtles are going to play. So there's no right or wrong answer in this situation. So people just go ahead and share your thoughts. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Like I said, we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles gameplay. Now, I think Ed Boon has purposely kept it a mystery because I think with Fighter Pack 3, a lot of people assume that with Fighter Pack 3, that was going to be the final huge massive reveal for the entire series of Injustice 2. But by him including Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as that final DLC character, hey Matthew, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you joined us. Um, Matthew, are you an Injustice 2 fan? Do you already have the game? And if so, who do you main? Well, who's your main character that you use? Um, uh, I think by Ed Boon including the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as that final DLC character, that com that created a whole new cliffhanger for us all to just completely get back into that mode of just suspense all over again. Everyone was in suspense waiting for each fighter pack to reveal to be revealed, and then on fighter pack three, everyone including myself thought that we were gonna pretty much get all the answers to everything. And then he comes out and says, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we're all blown away all over again. And it's just come out with a combat four. B9, welcome back to the stream. Always good to see you. Um, I don't know. Um, but Ed Boon did say he's going to continue to support Injustice 2 throughout 2018 and beyond. I don't know necessarily what beyond means. Um, clearly, I'm sure he's talking about into 2019 as well, but... If he's saying beyond, then that means there might be some other future downloadable characters. I don't know if it will be an entire pack, but there might be another DLC character that might be hiding, especially if they're going to support this game for the rest of the year. There's, there's going to need to be something to look forward to. Um, unless, my, my personal theory with the Turtles is that they're going to release each Turtle individually. I did a video where I explained how I felt like maybe each Turtle is going to be downloadable or going to be downloaded individually it, um, a lot of people some people like that idea some people didn't um, the one problem with all four turtles being separately downloadable is the fact that there's only one slot left in the um, in the character select screen for injustice 2 there's one slot left so if all four turtles are downloadable then that means that there needs to be three more slots available to just so that you can select all four turtles because there's only one slot left for um, for the final DLC character. Now some people have thrown out the idea that it's possible that um, um, there's going to be different shaders. Like basically there's going to be one character but because of gear customization you'll be able to go into your customization screen and you'll be able to take the shaders or buy different color shaders and then with the shaders you'll be able to change the color of the turtles which would mean blue for Raphael, red and I'm sorry, blue for Leonardo, red for Raphael, orange for Michelangelo, and purple for Donatello. So through the shaders, you'll be able to play as each turtle, but I don't agree with that. Is it going to be like Triborg off of MKX? Um, we still don't know, B9. Um, I, that, your, good, your gifts right now is as good as mine, and um, it could be like Triborg. But the only thing with Triborg is that in Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat had a variation system. So... Each of the different characters for Triborg basically was like a different variation. So we had Smoke, we had uh, Cy uh, Cyrex, and then we had Sector, and all three of them were different variations of Triborg. But in Injustice, we don't have a variation system. So I don't know how uh, they would set up 
some sort of variation system with one character, you know, just kind of out of the blue. So that's the only thing. But we do see with Tribor that they were able to, you know, uh, combine four characters actually in one. Or it might be like changing them off of Premiere Skins. What's up, little Steve? Hey, little Steve, I checked out that news video. Somebody's keeping us updated on Black Ops 4. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How did Sub-Zero turn from a cyborg back to a human? Um, well, actually, in Mortal Kombat uh, 9, that was an alternate storyline where he actually got automated. So um, I think they they went... Oh, what's up, Orion? Hey, Orion, if you want to know information about Black Ops 4, check out The Literal Steve. The Literal Steve dropped a video today that was explaining all the latest news about Black Ops 4. So check out The Literal Steve's latest video that was dropped today. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, doing news on all my games I love. Great, Literal Steve, great. New, we have new subscriber, I mean, I'm sorry, we have new visitors. Guys, welcome. We are talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're talking about gameplay. We're talking about how they might possibly um, play when they come out in February. They are coming out next month. New promotion, thanks, but no problem, Steve, no problem. And I don't know if you noticed, uh, Steve, if you pay attention to your rankings, you got ranked number 16 for one of your tags that you entered. So that's going to cause your video to pop up more frequently so you should probably be getting more views if you could try to be tr uh oh let's see ah. so hold on guys i'm having some technical difficulties here let's see all right let's get back okay all right let me look back here no, I don't know why I dropped up. If you could be trapped in any video game for one whole day, what video game would it be? B9, if I could be trapped in a video game all day long, um, I would be trapped in Super Mario Brothers 3. I would run around and I would go and get I would get the raccoon, the, the leaf, and turn into a raccoon. I would get the frog suit. I would get the tanuki suit. And I would get the uh, Hammer Brothers suit. And I would lose it. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get back on track. So um, somebody just, Matthew, I think Matthew was the one who brought up the idea of Premier Skins. Now, Premier Skins is possibly, um, Premier Skins is possibly, uh, um, a good idea, but the uh, the thing with Premier Skins is that each character, um, imagine being trapped in Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't want to be, no, no. Wouldn't be, no. Wouldn't want to be trapped in Mortal Kombat. No, thank you. I'll pass. I'll pass. Finish him! Oh, crap! <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, the problem with Premier Skins is that so far they've only paired one uh, <laughs> they've only paired one premier skin with one character. So to me, it doesn't make any sense for them to have one character and then have three premier skins that you attach to one character. Raiden has had one premier skin. Um, Superman has had one premier skin. Oh, did did uh, did Flash have two? Flash had two premier skins. Did he? Hmm. Who were the other two? I know of one. Um, I know, uh, Reverse Flash. Oh, and G and Jay Garrick, huh? Okay, okay. So, okay, well, two. What characters do you think, do you think need a Premier skin? Uh, well, that's a good question, B9, but I might answer that in just a second, though. Um, so I guess it is possible that there could be four Premier skins, but four Premier skins is still a lot of skins to have for one character. I mean, but I guess that is the most reasonable way to look at it, to have like four premier skins, I mean three premier skins on top of one turtle. That's a bit of a stretch though, but we do know there's only one box left on the character select screen, so I mean my theory of having all four turtles individually downloadable might be thrown out of the window because there's no other boxes left on the character select screen. So if it is just one box left, then that means they do need to come up with something creative like, um, like, um, the premiere skins or the use of the shaders uh, some people who are new i said earlier in the video that some people are thinking we're going to have like you can go into the care the gear customization and you can change the shader and basically kind of recreate different turtles batman beyond terry Guinness and Cy cyborg superman were in the first game why have them back <laughs> um i don't know flash has two premiere skins okay um you know what 
Well, I do know it's kind of like it's kind of the same thing with Mortal Kombat. Sometimes you have so many characters that are circulating that you kind of just have to pick and choose and just go with it. Hey, Elbert, welcome to the stream. Hey, man, how are you doing? I think they they may add a new premiere skin to a character on the main roster like they did with Bizarro or Superman. Well, Elbert, that's what we're talking about, and that's pretty much where what everyone else is kind of sharing right now. That it's just going to be a bunch of premiere skins. But I'm sorry, going back to the last comment, why can't Terry McAllis and all these characters? It's kind of like in Mortal Kombat. Whenever you release a new game, you kind of have to shuffle up the deck so that you can add some of other, some other people's favorite characters and then leave some people on the side. Not everyone can make it into the game. But Injustice 2 will definitely have a sequel. I think I think there'll be an Injustice. Justice 3. Do you think they're going to come out with it? <laughs> B9, I just answered your question. I think there's going to be an Injustice 3. But to be honest with you, Injustice 2, I don't think they're done with releasing downloadable characters because I said earlier, Ed Boon already said that they're going to continue to support Injustice 2 for 2018 and beyond. So I think there's they, there might be some more surprise DLC content coming up with characters. And um, in a past live stream, we were talking about how Netherrealm is actually um, taking Injustice 2 in the direction of like a role playing game where you level up your character, where you grind and grind and grind. And so, oh, milk. Milk the cow till it's done, then milk a new one. <laughs> well, little Steve, all I have to say to that is moo. Okay? Anyways, <laughs> um, so since, since Ed Boon is kind of taking Injustice 2 in the direction of like a role-playing game, and he's trying to keep people playing Injustice 2 as long as possible, you know, we, may, we, may, we might actually see some of those old characters from Injustice reappear in Injustice 2. I don't think that they're 100% done with releasing characters just yet three favorite Mortal Kombat gamers. Let's see, wait, wait. What are your three, your, your favorite Mortal Kombat games? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me go through some stuff. If there is more DLC, it won't be returning characters because they scrapped Fighter Pack Zero. Ah, Moo, <laughs> out of here with those terrible analogies. Oh, move, move out of here. Oh, great, great, e, uh, great, Steve. Great, great. Matthew, I can't wait for the Enchantress. Why are they taking so long? Well, the Enchantress just came out this month. Literally, the Enchantress came out two weeks ago. So it does feel like it's taking forever, but I think everyone's waiting more for the Turtles than they are for <laughs> playing. Although, to be honest with you, Enchantress was really impressive. Enchantress was like, up until now, I think she's been probably the most shocking character and the most animated character because she has a lot of Quan Chi's moves. She took Quan Chi's like spell like a lot of his spell casting, mind control, and she's able to teleport. She's able to use the 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 reflect shield. She's able to um you know summon, jump in and out of June Moon. It's really not taking long. We just need patience. Scorpion and Sub Zero uh, thank you, Scorpion Sub-Zero. That's basically what it is. We have more anticipation toward the Turtles than we did for Enchantress or Adam. So, of course, it seems to be taking very long. And they did say it's going to be, they're going to be coming out in February. So, that being, you know, that being the case, February is just like a week and a half away. She can also be, beat people up with their own souls. Yes, B9, very good comment. She, yeah, um, the Enchantress is probably the most animated character of the entire the entire um, roster, and I see now why they decided to keep her as one of the final DLCs to be re re released. Because just watching her gameplay trailer was just like all over. She was all over the place. I've noticed character trailers around the end of the month of one of the previous DLC character. True, true. Um, February 13th because they're released the second season. Well, we don't know necessarily for certain because uh, Fighter Pack 3 came out on November 10th, and November 10th was a, I believe, was a Friday. Um, and that was actually toward the beginning of the month. They should make a mini story for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You know what, Steve? That's a really interesting point. And I don't know if you were in the stream, uh, past streams, but we were talking about how Netherrealm needs to start downloading like few, like future chapters for people to play, so that you know after the story mode is over, they can download new chapters, so they can, you can pick up in a new story mode and continue to play, instead of just having one st one story mode. So if they were doing that, they could have they could make a make available DLC content that you could download. Um, uh, where you could, you know, they could have a, you know, T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles downloadable content story mode chapter, download, play it, and then, you know, but for some reason Netherrealm doesn't do that. They don't, they don't think along the lines of releasing downloadable chapters into the story mode. So, don't know why they don't do that. But, um, but right now I think the premiere skin is probably the most logical way that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are going to play. 
Um, and I mean, at first I thought that what they were going to do, they were going to make one turtle playable and then have the other three turtles kind of come out and help play during like the super move sequence. Since all the super move sequences are kind of cinematic, you know, it would be interesting to see like, you know, Michelangelo's the turtle, but then when you fight against Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael all pop up in the super move and they all help Leonardo. Also, given the fact that, you know, one, one of the turtles told Michelangelo in the Fighter Pack 3 trailer, he said, whoa, Mikey, we all fight as a team. So a lot of people felt like their gameplay was all connected toward them all interacting with each other. Please, trying to spend every penny I... <laughs> Arian, you continually bring the jokes. Thank you, man. That is so funny. Just spend, take all my money. You know, if they do it right, if you release the games right, if you put it, give me all the characters I want, give me a good juicy storyline, and, you know, good good story, then just take my money, man. Just take it. Just take it. The Turtles can play Ice Climbers and, and Smash Brothers. Uh, I'm not a big Smash Brothers fan, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I am not. Scorpion and Sub-Zero. You have both of those names in your in your username. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like better, Scorpion or Sub Zero? Give me Kung Lao and Jade, and I'll be go home. Go home. <laughs> yes, all right, a Arion. I still remember uh, Kung Lao and Jade. I think I saw them out at a bar last night. Scorpion, no doubt. Well, the literal Steve. You know, I I kind of feel like um, you know I feel like Scor uh, Sub Zero kind of gets a a a, a bad. Um, you know, a bum, a bum name. Sometimes I feel like it would be hybrid of previous systems like Mortal Kombat 9. Well, Albert, that's a really good idea. The only thing is, you know, Injustice 2 doesn't have a tag team system. It's a two-person channel. First main Scorpion, I'm the Sub-Zero right guy. Ah, that makes perfect sense. Gotcha. I gotcha. Well, clearly your favorite is Sub-Zero. Yeah, more Injustice 2 does not have a, a tag team system set up, so there's just no way that you're going to have turtles jumping in and out throughout the round. That's just not going to work. Um, but you know what? It's very interesting just to see exactly how this gameplay trailer is going to look. I think by far this gameplay trailer is going to be probably the most fantastic one because just by us being able to see how what exactly... But you know what? Guys, are you all familiar with SMG Princess? SMG Princess is a female gamer on YouTube and she actually went back and did some research and she did some 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 gameplay videos where she recorded some gameplay of the original um, tag team wasn't popular I'm getting now according to Boon so it will forever spring. Ooh Well to be honest with you, um, I really didn't miss it. I didn't really miss it all that much in Mortal Kombat X. That's another topic. The tag team system that is but anyway uh smg princess actually did some research where she went back and found the old fighting game the teenage mutant ninja turtle fighting game and she actually covered it in a few in a video and i think it was interesting to watch that video because of course i think the video game was an 8-bit but i think um if it would be really interesting i think um Ed Boon, I wouldn't put it past Ed Boon and Netherroom to go back and visit that original fighting game and borrow some of those moves and recycle some of those moves so that some um, some old vintage, you know, old school gamers will be able to recognize some of the fighting techniques that they had back in that original fighting game and see them recycled in Mortal in Injustice 2. I think that's totally possible. That's totally logical. Guys, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Check out SMG Princess's channel. I think this is a video she uploaded like a week ago, so it's probably on her, you know, on her main channel. But check out that video and look at some of their old, um, some of their old moves from that original fighter game. Uh, what was lame in Mortal Kombat? I might be in Mortal Kombat 11 or 12. Well, you know what? And the thing is, you know, if they do premiere skins, it, it's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tournament fighters ah okay thank you scorpion and sub-zero appreciated that actually i'm just gonna call you sub-zero since scorpion is clearly not here <laughs> we're talking to we're talking to sub-zero because the the scorpion guy who whoever main scorpion is not in this chat fighter pack for surprise spongebob oh matthew oh matthew oh matthew spongebob oh my gosh uh, but anyways but i was gonna say you know what you know is crazy because if they do three premiere skins for the turtles, I always <laughs> the literal Steve leave Scooby Wooby Woo. Just no. <laughs> I would have gotten away with, for, with it if it hadn't been for that, those those dag blabbit kids, those meddling kids. If you're a Scooby Doo fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, but one thing I thought would be really cool is if they had a premiere skin of Shredder. 
Shredder was a playable character in the uh, in the original Turtle fighting fighting game, and it would be really cool if they allowed you to play as Shredder. Phineas and Ferb. Oh, Z Sub Zero. Why? Why Sub Zero? Why are you doing this to us? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I just remembered. Uh, Scooby Doo, according to Ed Boon, is supposed to be the next downloadable character. Did y'all catch that? Ed Boon tweeted that 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 Scooby Doo was supposed to be the next downloadable character, and he was mad because someone leaked it. Wah, wah, wah. Anyways, but guys, go back. Going back to what I was talking about, wouldn't it be cool to have a premiere skin of Shredder? I'm like, if they're gonna go ahead and make the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playable, which in all honesty, I thought well, that was a little ridiculous, but I'm, I'm over it now. Um, R.I.P. Shaggy. <laughs> um, I'm over it now. So if they're going to give us the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they, they should go ahead and give us some premiere skins for the Shredder. I would love to play as the Shredder. Um, and I'm still a big fan of Sub-Zero's Deception costume when he, was, when he had the Shredder helmet. So if you're gonna if you're gonna take us back to the turtles, give us Shredder, give us Shredder, give us was it was it Mecha Turtle, Mecha Turtle, Shredder and the Rat Dude Master of the Turtles. Yes, um, uh, Master Master Master. Oh, all the Hellboy shaders are on three. Part of the deal of them. Albert, you know I did not notice that. I didn't. I, I don't play Splinter. Thank you, Sub Zero. I don't play Hellboy, um, so I didn't notice that. Matthew Splinter, thanks guys for helping me out. I appreciate that. Um, but it's Splinter, Master Splinter. Yeah, if you're gonna give us the turtles, go ahead and give us Splinter as a premier skin. Give us Shredder as the premier skin. Give us the Mecha Turtle as a premier skin. Um, what was the name of Spike? Wasn't Spike the name of the the evil turtle that had all the spikes on him all over? Thanks. I'm a noob. <laughs> The literal Steve is okay. It's all right. I couldn't think of the name either. What if, what if they had Master Chief for DLC? Oh, if they had Master Chief as a downloadable character, I would be thoroughly impressed with that. I would be thoroughly impressed with Master Chief. That would be great. Bebop and Rocksteady premiere skins. Um, you know, I almost said that Sub Zero, but um, they were kind of corny to me. They were a little corny. Um. Let's see. They did Kratos in Mortal Kombat 9. They did, and, and Kratos was a kick-ass character. Master Chief and, and Mason from Black Ops. Well, I, I mean, Master Chief would be very awesome. Master Chief would be really cool. I don't, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Microsoft would be all that excited about having their main character getting beheaded and chopped up and sliced in the Mortal Kombat universe. But, um, but you know what? Actually, Master Chief would have been perfect for Injustice 2 because Master Chief would probably be more along the lines of a comic book character in, instead of a, a Mortal Kombat character because Mortal Kombat is more martial arts. And um, Injustice 2 is, is, of course, the comic book characters. He's kind of more of a comic book character to me. Let me see. Um, Captain Price, COD. Interesting, Matthew. Interesting. Um, NetherRealm certainly has the ability to surprise us. We never know. Albert, that's very true. I didn't see the turtles coming. I'm a little pissed off, but I'm over it now. I talked to my therapist. She helped me get over it. And April from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle to Steve. What is April going to do? What is April going to do? She has this solid snake from Fighter Pack 85. Interesting. What is April going to do? She, her and Lois Lane and Princess Peach have this chronic, they have this chronic problem of getting kidnapped at the wrong moments. Her... April from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, uh, Princess Peach, and um, and Lois Lane. They all get captured and kidnapped. Blind them with the camera and hit them in the special spot. But see, she didn't use the camera. She has she had she had a cameraman. April and Peach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Orion, you know what I'm talking about. And to be honest with you, Swiper from Dora. <laughs> JC, that's great. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Uh, yeah. And the, and the, and the thing, to be honest with you, I know we're talking about injustice, but I think Princess Peach enjoys getting kidnapped. I mean, think about it. Ice Tea from Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> Good one, I was Scorpion. Think about it. If you have a woman that keeps getting kidnapped by the same man for 30 years, I'm sorry. She's doing it on purpose. She's sitting there thinking, you know what? Mario isn't paying enough attention to me. It's time to spice this. This it's time to spice things up. Bowser, what you doing? Come pick me up. Come in, come through in that Cadillac. Come through in the Cadillac. I got my stuff. I'm got. I'm ready. What if they had the Assassin's Creed guy from Mortal Kombat? Oh man, 
The Assassin's Creed guy, that would be good. Ice Cube and Eminem, maybe some Dr. Dre for DLC. <laughs> Bowser and Peach have been banging. It's gross. Sub Zero, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I think Princess Peach does it on purpose. Easy yo. Hmm. Um, but it's, it's funny, I saw a skit of Super Mario on uh, YouTube, and it was like a real life version of, of Mario and the Peach, and Mario turns to Peach and he goes, you know what, sometimes I think you get kidnapped on purpose, and the princess goes, well at least it made you pay more attention to me, it's like, see, there you go, there's the evidence right there, hey, a lady has to get it some, oh, literal Steve, oh man, literal's getting edgy here, well, pre you know, Peach, we shoot, we don't know what's going on between Peach and Bowser. Hey guys, welcome back to the welcome to the stream. We have more viewers. We're up to nine people. We are talking on and off about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A lot of people have thrown out a lot of great concepts. Right now, we're entertaining the idea that the um, all four turtles are going to be made playable through Premiere skins, which makes the most sense since there's only one uh, character select spot left for only one turtle, which kind of eliminates the idea that all four turtles might be released separately. Some people saying we're going to get premiere skins and some people have been saying that it's just going to be through shaders that you're going to be able to go and in, into the gear customization screen and change the, the skater i mean the skaters change the the shaders on the turtle which really would work in a way but it, it wouldn't explain the gameplay we're also entertaining the fact that peach might have a secret kink orion we we don't know for don't forget about luigi oh matthew oh my gosh uh sub-zero kanye west Gifts for Kim is his accessory piece. <laughs> what if they had Darth Maul for MKX? B9, you know, that's a pretty good idea, Darth Maul. You know, they actually had, I think, wasn't it uh, Soul Calibur who actually had um, the uh, the Star Wars characters? They had Yoda, and I think they had, uh, they had was it Darth Vader? Darth Vader and Yoda were um, uh, guest characters for... Um, for the Soul Calibur character, and Soul Calibur 6 is supposed to be coming out soon. And Toad. Now, Steve, why are you mentioning Toad? Why are you mentioning Toad? We do not need to be talking about that little mushroom man right now. But anyway, so going back to the turtle, so we got the premiere skins, and we have the, the whole idea of shaders. Um, but either way, you know, no one really knows for certain. I think Ed Boon did this on purpose, because um, Toad is love. Lo Toad is life. The literal Steve, you know what? You know what, when you have your next, when you have your li your first live stream, I'm going to come to your live stream and I'm going to purposely say really outrageous things. Toad be eating out, oh, Sub-Zero, this is G-rated nation, Sub-Zero, no, 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 we don't know what goes on in the Mushroom Kingdom, we don't know, we don't know necessarily exactly what happens, but I'm sorry, Mario needs to, uh, you know, I think Mario needs to, you know, uh, keep Peach, you know, under wraps, you know. I don't know how Bowser keeps getting all this easy access to her. You know what? I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like he keeps driving up, driving up in a car and, and tempting her with candy. And then she just jumps in and drives off, goes down. <laughs> Sub-Zero. <laughs> I stream on Twitch and bombard me with it. I've had worse. Oh, you stream on Twitch. Okay. Um, ha have you played Plants vs. Zombies? No, BC. I have not played that one. I have not. So guys, welcome to the stream. We have we're up to nine viewers. Like I said, um, if anyone hasn't shared anything, go go ahead and jump right on in. If you have some theories on how the turtles are going to play, but I thought it was really clever for SMG Princess to dig up that old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle footage from the original tournament um, fighting game, and I do think Ed Boon will probably incorporate their original fighting moves from that. Uh, from that game just as a throwback bonus i think so but i am curious to see if we're going to get a shredder um a shredder premiere skin maybe i mean if you can have three premiere skins why not add a fourth one i mean these premiere skins are kind of starting to get thrown around like just some cheap tennis shoes maybe some characters from tekken well you know what that's realistic you know um some people were talking about how you know tekken characters from mortal kombat and that'll never happen because I'm sure Tekken will not allow their characters to get uh, sliced, sliced and diced and thrown in a blender on Mortal Kombat, but it could happen for Injustice 2. What would you do if you found a mountain dog on a treasure chest? B9, I would probably, uh, probably put it in savings because I have a lot of bills. Timmy Turner from Mortal Kombat 11. Timmy Turner. Um, I'm not familiar with that character, Sub-Zero. Pearl, uh, you will be a great DLC character. How in the world would I be a great DLC character for, for what? For, for what? For Mortal Kombat. Jimmy Neutron, uh, Steve, that, that's just, wh why, just, you know, you know what, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Goku talk to you, Steve. Steve! 
Why would you say Jimmy Neutron? Why? You can throw your hat like Kung Lao. Ah! <laughs> what about Akuma from Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat? Yeah, Akuma would never be in that. Uh, Ugandan Knuckles for DLC. Ugandan Knuckles, huh? Not as bad as SpongeBob, hmm. Perhaps Premier Skins are a part of Ebon's statement when he said the games will consist through 2018 and beyond. Interesting. That's very good, Elber. You know, I hadn't thought of it like that. If they continue to offer Premier Skins, that would be very interesting. You know, but you know what? I'm wondering. Um, well, I'll save that for another stream. But that's very true. Um, he said they're going to continue to offer support and DLC content through 2018 and beyond. So, um, so Premier Skins, yes, I could definitely see them continuing to offer Premier Skins. And like I said, Injustice 2 is like, a, it's, it's being set up. What about Lara Croft? You know, Lara Croft would be a very good downloadable character for Injustice 2 because because of how she's kind of play how she, how you can play her. She wouldn't work in Mortal Kombat, but she would definitely work in Injustice 2. And um, they're trying to revive a lot of um, they're trying to revive the whole Lara Croft thing right now. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we don't if we if we don't if we see her soon in a fighting game. If you had to choose between two powers, shape shifting and possessing, oh, probably sh uh, um, probably shape shifting, kind of. I'm not sure about that. Both choices are kind of like iffy for me on that one. I prefer elemental abilities, please. B9, 20 and beyond. Beyond Premier Scan for 2019. Beyond Premier Scan for 2019. Well, Sub Zero, that sounds, you know, I mean, your guess, your guess is as good as mine. It is. Um, and I think Lara Croft would have lots of variety of gear and abilities. Elbert, that's brilliant. That's brilliant because every time she comes out, she always has her utility belt, she always has her, her skins. Um, you know her costumes. Um, you know her hair. I mean, she's a girl, so you could you could accessorize her. You know, have her with her hair down, put it up in a ponytail. Yeah, she'd be great for gear. Um, wait, let me let me see. Are they going to have another Mortal Kombat guest character for Injustice Three? Oh, well, Injustice Three has not come out yet, um, and we don't. But you know what thing I realized is that anybody remember Batmite? I don't remember Batmite Scorpion in mean, Sub Zero. But you know what the thing the thing if you want to get a good idea of what Mortal Kombat 11 would look like with gear customization all you have to do is choose Scorpion or Raiden I mean Sub-Zero or Raiden in Injustice 2 and go into the gear customization screen that that's actually giving us a glimpse of what gear customization might look like in Mortal Kombat 11 and who's to say that Ed Boon didn't do that on purpose just so that he could gauge the fans and the gamers to see whether they liked having gear customization for Raiden and Sub-Zero if enough people liked it on those two characters they might actually go ahead and put it in Mortal Kombat 11 so that might have been Ed Boon's way of trying to test the waters to see if um, fighter you know uh, gamers uh, actually like putting gear on Mortal Kombat characters see you know to see if to whether or not they want to introduce it into Mortal Kombat 11 but um, guys if y'all are interested in gear customization please check out my my uh, streams that I did on my channel where I do gear customization versus variation system it was a very interesting conversation and a lot of people had a lot of good feedback so check out those streams as well Raiden and Scorpion Steve why are you yelling random off the wall um, Mortal Kombat character names at me Arvin, I'm Arvin. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Uh, JC, Ed Boon's eyebrows are two caterpillars. I would, I would make sweet love to. Oh, JC. Well, that is very interesting. Well, you have a crush on Ed Boon. You know. Um, let's see. Scorpion Sub Zero uh, would make the ultimate deadly alliance. Well, you know what? In Mortal Kombat 11, they're supposed to be friends now. If you remember Mortal Kombat 10, they made up. I was answering B9's oh question. Oh, gotcha, Steve. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure you were. Sure you were, Steve. I'm sure you just wanted to throw random names at me for no apparent reason. I that's I, that's that's hurtful. I'm joking. Uh, God of Thunder, welcome, God of Thunder. I haven't seen you in a minute. Um, welcome to the stream, Orion. This chat is on on it today. <laughs> Arvin never played Injustice 2, but played Injustice though. So, oh, Arvin, man, you're missing out. The gear customization and all that with that game. You should definitely check out Injustice 2. It's it's a great it's a great game. Just to say you've been able to play it. I mean, I I, I like it. Um, Elber. Plus, I know people who love characters like Raiden and Sub Zero so much that they explore them in any capacity. That's very true, Elbert. That's very true. Um, it was the best moment in the series. They finally buried a dash of Scorpion, and Scorpion killed Quan Chi. Right. But see, but you know what, um, you know what, uh, Sub Zero. I'm really curious right now because for Mortal Kombat 11, um, now that Sub Zero and Scorpion have buried the hatchet, and 
keep in mind, so, uh, Scorpion is no longer a revenant. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do with Scorpion's character development because, tech, I mean, literally, according to official canon, he is not a revenant anymore and he's not mad at Sub Zero. So to have all that hellfire around him, you know, Another Room is going to have to come up with a creative way to to allow Scorpion to use his moves so that, you know, he's not consumed by fire, you know, because he's not a revenant anymore. Unless they just want to give the fans what they want and keep them mad as hell. All I'll say. Guys, welcome to the stream. If you're just now coming to the stream, we are talking or off and on. Shadow Man would be cool. Matthew, who's Shadow Man? Um, uh, yeah. But we are trying to talk about um, the uh, how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are going to play. Feel free to share your thoughts, whatever you think, whatever your thoughts are. Anything goes. Anyone's guess is as good as ours at this point because we do not know. Not until next month. I really hope they don't kill him again just so... So his moves that can work. <laughs> Everyone in the other room sitting there like, oh crap, he's not a revenant anymore. Damn. Oh, uh, oops. Uh, what? He just got killed by Raiden accidentally thrown off a, a bridge. Okay. That sounds works. Let, let, that, sound, that sounds good. Let's just, you know, make that canon. That would be terrible. I wonder if they will explore alternate universes in the next Mortal Kombat game. Well, you know what, Albert? A lot of people have already mentioned the fact that they haven't spent enough time developing the, uh, the Chaos Realm. And the Order Realm, which were realms created back in, Decep in Deception. Who's the friendliest character in DBZ? Mm, Mr. Popo! Mr. Popo is the friendliest character in DBZ. Raiden did kill Liu Kang for no reason. Raiden has issues, and I'm hoping he is the villain for Mortal Kombat 11 so that he can get his ass kicked. I know this is G-rated nation, but I just had to say that. God of Thunder. Damn, I just got here and I already have to go. Hopefully I'll be back for another stream. If not, see you next time. Well, God of Thunder, you're always welcome. Thank you for showing up for the time you did. And um, I will see you soon. I saw Naga was uh, I saw Naga was a villain for the next Mortal Kombat game. No, no, B9. No, that was a leak that happened back in September. And that leak wasn't true. It was not. It was not true. But okay, so going back to the Turtles. So who, okay, maybe Scorpion will have a nightmare of himself as a revenant, like Joker's inclusion in Injustice 2. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe. We don't know. But so going back to the Turtles, though. Um, so I haven't played Mortal Kombat since 20, 2013. Arvin, really? So Arvin, what kind of games are you into? You haven't played Injustice 2 and you haven't played Mortal Kombat in a while. What games do you play? Um, but anyway, so guys, um, I'm really interested to see how the turtles, I mean, you know, they have their Kung Fu that they do. Gotta go, buddy. See you later. See you later, Steve. Thanks for joining. Um, keep up the great videos. I need a new, uh, news video from you very soon, please. Is the most disgusting. B9, you, you're absolutely right. Devora is filthy, filthy, nasty, dirty woman. I don't like her. She killed Melina. I'm not going to go there. See you later, little Steve. Thank you. Join join me again. Join me again soon. I'll be on your channel ch chanting for more merch. I need a Steve to Prestige shirt. This cap needs to say Steve to Prestige on it. Thank you. Um, so with the Turtles, um, so yeah, they, so they have their Kung Fu fighting style. Oh, what about Shiva from Mortal Kombat 9? Um, well, you know, she, Shiva got her shot in Mortal Kombat 9. I said in the last stream that people are still waiting for characters who haven't even had a shot in the reboot. Um, you know, but Shiva had a shot in Mortal Kombat 9, so whether she comes back in 11 or not, I don't think a lot of people are all that concerned, because you can still go pick up Mortal Kombat 9 and, and play a Shiva if you wanted to. Uh, you know, there are still a lot of characters from the 3D era that haven't been brought back that, that they haven't even touched. And people are mad as hell, including Fujin. People are mad Fujin hasn't been included in anything. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's, uh, you know, I, I personally want Reiko to come back. They haven't included Reiko yet. Um, you know, there's a lot of characters that they need to really kind of bring back. Um, Lee May. I don't want Frost to return. Well, you know what? Um, well, she was an NPC in, in Mortal Kombat X. We don't, I don't know. Well, you know, I don't think her storyline is very strong. Um, but she is probably one of the more popular characters, though, uh, from what I've heard on my comments board. I played Mortal Kombat Deception on my friend's PS2. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh, wow, that's been a while ago. Um, uh, what about Taven? Taven is a, one of my favorite characters. I like that. I think the turtles will be separate, but combos that well, have another turtle system, like how the Swamp Thing can summon clones with his combos. You know what? That's interesting. Hello, David. Welcome to the stream. We are talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, you know what? I don't know. Oh, Blaze. 
Yeah, Blaze is from the other timeline. We, they've started a whole new timeline for Mortal Kombat 9, so a lot of those characters don't even exist in the new timeline, like like Shujinko, Blaze, Onaga. They haven't even been introduced in the new timeline. It will be cool. Matthew, you're absolutely right. I can't wait to see it. Do you think pizza is seriously affecting the turtles? About their pizza consumption? <laughs> you're worried about the, the turtles' pizza consumption? One turtle, three premier skins, three abilities like the Staff of Grayson. Maybe so, maybe so, Scorpion. For example, Leo kicks an opponent in the air and hits him back down with a. Let me hold on. Down with the staff and then runs off screen. Well, Elbert, to be honest, if they came up with that kind of complex fighting style for the Turtles, I would say that would be off the chain. That would be so incredibly unprecedented. And to also have a character that is actually getting assists from other characters, that would be really strange to see. They they haven't allowed any other character to do that. What is R Reiko Shao Kahn's second in command? What is Reiko? B9, I don't know. I don't think they've ever explained that much into the lore. We just know that Reiko is the general of Shao Kahn's army. So, we don't know. Um, so, but if they allow, do you prefer Injustice over Mortal Kombat? Heck no. Nope, nope, no. Nope. I'm still waiting for... Arvin, if you go to my channel, I have done like 10, like 10 plus videos on Mortal Kombat 11, and the game isn't even out yet. So, I, my allegiance is totally with Mortal Kombat. Um, but, you know what? It would be interesting if they did have the Turtles ha allow for there to be some assist with the other Turtles. If that were the case, then that would truly make them probably the most unique downloadable set of characters in the entire game. To have assist from the other Turtles in some way. If they make a new TV series, um, comment what people do. Think. Oh, B9, I didn't have to think about that. Ed Boon did say they have unique gameplay too. Fighting style, I believe, so I, I don't think they will be premiere skins. <laughs> See, so... We got the Premier Skin Theory, we have the, the four individual turtle download theory, that all four will be separate downloads. And in my video that I did of the turtle gameplay, I did go into Wikipedia where Wikipedia listed all four turtles as being downloadable characters um, in, in Wikipedia. And when it lists all the characters that are available for gameplay in the Wikipedia article, all the characters that are listed, in, it includes all four turtles separately. And honestly, I think I felt like that was a clue to show that all four are going to be downloaded separately because if if it is just premier skins, then that would mean that for the all the character for all the characters that were listed, they could have just listed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, they would have just listed turtles instead of listing them all all individually by name. And and also, you know, that's that's my theory, but we don't know. I must create a character. You know what, Sub Zero? I was talking about this in another person's on another person's channel, and I honestly believe that create a character, create a fighter from Mortal Kombat Armageddon was actually the early stages of gear customization. Because did you notice the the uh, create a fighter screen and the gear customization screen are identical? You have your your character. You can revolve your character around. You can apply different um, different hairstyles, different clothing styles to create a fighter, and then. Fast forward to gear customization, it's the exact same thing. Creative Fighter was just an early theory, an early concept of gear customization. I think gear customization, gear customization is like the finalized, modern, polished version of Creative Fighter. That they they clearly wanted to do something with the Creative Fighter idea, but they didn't know how to how to work it, and so they gave it a lot of thought, and then they finally came up with the the idea of gear customization. So gear customization is really an advanced form of Creative Fighter. If you had to change three Mortal Kombat characters' genders, oh B9, I don't really know. I don't, I don't know. But um, let's see. I wonder how Ralph vs. Leo will be like in Injustice 2. Mm. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough. Well, hopefully they release the trailer really soon. And I think there's gonna be a lot of coverage on YouTube over the Turtles. I think people are gonna be releasing information left and right. The gamers, all the pro gamers on YouTube, they they stay on it. Um, I'm not into the gender bending crap. Hmm. Well, there was, they did do Chameleon as a male and as a female uh, for Armageddon, and that's about all they've done. And Frost has been kind of like a female version of Scorpion, I mean of Sub-Zero, so yeah, it's time. Antoine, welcome back to the, to the stream, it's good to see you. We are talking about the Turtles and how they are going to play for Injustice 2, and they're going to be coming out next month in February, so we have our countdown going on. We're just sitting here talking about everyone's theory as to what's going to happen. But, um, but yeah, guys, check out the Wikipedia page for Injustice 2. They list all four characters, all four turtles separately from each other. Uh, what if they had a Christmas version of Halloween game? Hmm, Halloween game. Which Halloween game? Uh, Arvin Games. I used to be a big fan of Sub-Zero. 
Oh, yeah, I still love Sub-Zero, Antoine. Like Triborg. Antoine, everyone's saying like Triborg. This became more about more than it's gonna, Well, you know, it kind of it kind of flew. It, it's kind of it's a very fluid discussion. We're kind of going. Uh, they switched rep, a reptilian to an iguana. Yes, Orion. You know, you remember I said that in the stream. I'm, I'm pissed off that that reptile is an iguana. Like Christmas by all evil and Halloween games. Oh, okay, okay, yes, right now. But yes, Sub Zero just mentioned that we're kind of going back and forth between Mortal Kombat and Justice Two. Um, but yeah, Antoine. Uh, yeah, like. But the only thing about Triborg is that Triborg was introduced with the variation system, and Injustice Two doesn't have a variation system. You can't choose. You know. You know. There's no variation system. So I mean, so Antoine. A lot of people have just been saying Premier skins. The the most most realistic idea would be Premier skins that you can select. I wonder who was who was the very first gear uh, guest character in game history. Hmm, I'm not sure. B9. Um, you, you might want to Google that. Yeah, sorry, I'm only familiar with MK, and I just want to see what Astro had to say. <laughs> well, Orion, you really come up with some really good jokes too. You keep me laughing. They 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 could put in variation as gimmick only turtles can use. As as gimmick only. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, if anyone's new to the stream, welcome, welcome. I'm trying to keep up with making sure. Yeah, I wish they put in John Constantine. You know what? It, let's, that's a thank you, Antoine, for bringing that up. Another topic that's related to Injustice 2 and the Turtles is who do you think they should have done it? If they hadn't used the Turtles, who would have been a good con uh, downloadable character? I wanted Neo. I wanted Neo from the Matrix. I thought Neo from the Matrix would have been the best final character in Fighter Pack 3. What do y'all think? Do you think Neo would have been a good good choice for a downloadable character for Injustice 2? I thought Neo would have been great. He was perfect. You know, his moveset, I mean, having a super ability, his clothing. I mean, if you notice, Keanu Reeves had like all kinds of clothes that he wore in different scenes. So that, that was gear customization right there. The trailer, the characters all walk out having the same... Let's see. Well, I have the same animation as their first or second person intros. Oh, Injustice includes only DC characters. What the turtles have to do with that? Arvin. Oh, Arvin, 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 Arvin. Well, you know, this has to do with the guest character idea. You know, the Netherrealm franchise has been doing... Oh, Antoine, why would you even say that? Why would you even say that? If you're going to say the Power Rangers, you might as well say, uh, you know, Captain Planet and the Planeteers. We're the Planeteers. You can be one too. What would you react if Injustice 2 had when Donald Trump was a guest character? Ugh. If Donald Trump, I'd probably have a headache because I want it. Oh, okay. Constantine isn't really a fighter. He's a sleazy. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Neo would be perfect because he would be a four, four wall break. The major is the same. So, yeah. Mortal Kombat. Who is like the weakest villain in Mortal Kombat? Arvin, what are you laughing at? What was so funny, really? I wish they had put Azrael. SpongeBob. Oh, no. This is the second person to say SpongeBob for a DLC. Well, um, I think Constant. Well, I thought it might have been Constantine because if you remember in Fighter Pack 3, someone threw that cigarette onto the ground, and, and of course, Constantine used to smoke a lot in the matches. Hmm. Don't know, Albert. Antoine. Hell no, 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 no. Uh, SpongeBob. What about Bugs Bunny for DLC? Oh, B9. Oh no. So I thought Constantine might have been one. A lot of people wanted Spawn. A lot of people wanted Terminator. Uh, that was Hell Hellboy cigarette. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Was it Was it the same cigarette? Uh, he had, okay. Well, who knows? Uh, that That's true. That's true. I guess it would have had to have been Hellboy cigarette because uh, you know the Adam didn't smoke. Neither did Raiden or or Black Manta. Hell no. Take the gun and let it and let go. <laughs> But I thought Neo would have been a really good choice, and then um, there was Constantine, there was there was the Terminator, a lot of people wanted the Terminator. You think PlayStation would be able to do crayons again? I, I'm not familiar with crayons. Not quite sure what crayons would be dealing with. I don't know what crayons. Was that a game? Um, so yeah, so other than the Turtles, what are your thoughts, guys? Who else would have made a really good DLC character for Injustice 2? I think they, they did overlook a lot of he might mean Kratos. Oh, Kratos. Oh, okay. Being on Kratos. Okay. Um, Kratos. Uh, well, you know, they're they're getting ready to come out with um, uh, uh, was was it um, God of War? Was it four? 
they're coming out with God of War. Beast Boy, yeah, Beast Boy would have been good. Have you heard of Marvel vs. Capcom? Arvin, of course, yes. I'm really disappointed with our, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. is trash. It's 4. It's Sub-Zero 4, yes. Yes. Infinite is trash. I think they need to release an ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite with uh, with uh, the uh, X-Men included. They need to just stop. Stop. Oh, you, you don't think they are? Well, they need to just let go of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and just stop, stop supporting it. And just start working on Marvel vs. Capcom 5. And get the X-Men back in there. I think Turtles were perfect though. Big real I thought. Oh, okay, Matthew. Okay, you must be a big Turtle fan. Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch characters. That would be interesting. Overwatch is huge right now, so that would be a great crossover. Um, so, uh, but yes. Like I was saying. Um, um, what was I saying? Oh, no. Um, oh, I was just talking about... Okay, well, let's just go ahead and move on. Um, so yes, uh, Metal Gear Solid characters, possibly, possibly, look at my profile picture, it looks like, it looks like Leonardo, Matthew, oh yeah, yeah, okay, so you love him, okay, I see, you love him, okay, Antoine, no, Antoine, why are you still saying no, you've been saying no for like 10 minutes, B9, do you play Overwatch, you know, no, I haven't gotten around to playing, I pretty much play only fighter games, pretty much, I'm a Marvel fanboy, oh, give me snake, 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 Sub Zero, you want Snake? Okay, which kind of Snake? Which what character are you talking about? But going back to Marvel vs. Capcom for a second, yeah, I think they need to just ditch Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and start working on Marvel vs. Capcom Five with the with the um, X Men in there. I love Spider Man, Arvin. Okay, solid. Okay, Sub Zero, because some of the characters suck. Astro, you better play Shaolin monks. Orion, you know what? I might do that. If it's available on the Xbox Store and I can download it, I might just do that. We'll have to see. The Xbox Store has been slacking, though. I've been trying to get on there and look for stuff, and I can't find it. Um, Capcom has been a failure recently. Well, you know, Capcom has been, like, I think they're just money-hungry. They're just putting out these titles, just hoping they, they just hit the jackpot, and it's just not... Well, although um, uh, Street, they just released Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, so they're still keeping that series alive. Uh, sent by Marvel and Justice. Uh, game because Spider-Man is my favorite. Ah, you know, um, Castle Crashers. You know, I would love to see um, DC versus Marvel. EA is also money hungry, dude. Yeah, that's true. I would love. Would y'all like to see a DC Comics versus Marvel? Who who would like to see DC versus Marvel? I think DC versus Marvel would be great. That seems to be the one. That seems to be the one game title that everyone overlooks. Everyone overlooks. I mean. I would love to see Batman go up against Storm or see Psycho up against Superman. Why not do that? I don't know why. They don't ever seem to like to cross over with each other. I don't know. But um, I think uh, DC versus DC versus Marvel, they need to work on that. Remember Mortal Kombat versus Marvel in 2009? You mean, Mar you mean Mortal Kombat versus DC? That was DC. It was a good game. Yeah, it was DC versus Mortal Kombat. DC and Marvel enemies? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they have a back. They have a bad history with each other. Oh wait, oops, Arvin. <laughs> yeah, it's it's DC Comics. It was DC Arvin. I like DC versus Marvel. That sounds good. Yeah, it it would be a great it would be a great idea, um, and it would make a lot of money. Do you know all the comic book fans who would come out of nowhere to support that title? That would be great. But you know what? That would not happen. I just realized something right now. Uh, Netherrealm Studios has the rights to DC Comics, and right now Marvel, um, Marvel, uh, Marvel Studios has the rights, of course, to their Marvel characters. So you got two different studios who have the rights to these franchises. So I, you know, for them to do a crossover of those two would be very unlikely. What game do you think Mortal Kombat can do a crossover with? Uh, I, th you know what, I, th I think I've said it before, B9. They could do a great crossover with Resident Evil, but that's but Resident Evil is owned by Capcom. But Resident Evil is like the only game that would probably suit the Mortal Kombat universe. Marvel vs. DC with Mortal Kombat gets this DLC. Oh, that would be sweet. That's like that's like the the wish list title right there. Killer Instinct. Oh, Killer Instinct. Well, you know what? But Killer Instinct still isn't as as gory as Mortal Kombat. But that would be a very good Mortal Kombat versus Candy Crush. JC, really? <laughs> that's that's interesting. Great Candy Crush. And the guest characters would be interesting for Marvel versus DC. Um, but Killer Instinct for, versus Mar Mortal, Mortal Kombat that would be great. Kind of like an adult Smash Brothers Marvel DC MK. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, Antoine, what are you laughing? Are you laughing at the Mar Mortal Kombat versus Candy Crush? Is that what you're laughing at? Mortal Kombat versus Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah. Just have all the Mortal Kombat characters get ran over by all all the cars. Mortal Kombat X on the mo on, on the mobile stuff. Antoine, yes. Um, Mortal Kombat versus Diablo. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, you know what? But, you know, I think Marvel vs. DC is probably the best idea. Too bad that probably won't happen, but, you know. Thank, but, you know, at least we were able to get Marvel vs. Capcom. That was really a... And, they, you know, I think they, they should do a better job with Marvel vs. Capcom. If they knew they didn't have access to the X-Men, they shouldn't have even done Infinite in the first place. You know, because... But you know what? Honestly, what are do we have any Mega Man fans in here? Is there anybody in here who's a Mega Man fan? Please let me know. Who likes Mega Man? Who is a Mega Man fan? Mega Man X, the original Mega Man. Um, anyone who plays Mega Man in the Marvel games. I've been wondering why don't they come out with a fighter game for the Mega Man series? You know, because right now you can play as Mega Man and Zero in the Marvel vs. Capcom. But why not make a whole entire fire game based off of all the characters in, in Mega Man? Have you played Super Smash? Being I know I haven't. Oh, actually, I have. I have. What am I saying? I have. Four examples like the characters are. Arvin, I'm so Hold on. I like how everyone changed the subject from teams, but it changed. <laughs> yes, it did. I, I used to love Mega Man, but the franchise is dead. Well, no. No, Sub-Zero. They're coming out with more Mega Man 11 now. And they're going to come out with a, with a collection for Mega Man X. So the fran I mean the creative side of the company is kind of dying a little bit. I mean side of the franchise is dying, the creative side, but but they're still pumping out installments. This is what happens when there's no official MK news. Well, no. I mean I wouldn't say that. I mean, yeah. let's see. Mega Man is a is guest character for the new Super Smash Bros game. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Thanks for saying sharing that B9. But yes, so uh, Bloody Roar needs to make a comeback, Antoine. Hmm. Okay. So for any new get visitors to the stream, welcome. We did start off talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then we decided to get in a rocket ship and go all around the world. So now we are kind of talking about a lot of different things, but don't let that stop you from sharing your thoughts about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you do have some thoughts about how their gameplay is going to be, please go ahead and share them. We've already gone through the gamut of explaining the idea of different premiere skins, the, the idea of in each individual turtle being downloadable, and also just having shaders, the color shaders being changed just to simulate the, the look of each turtle. When you say Mega Man, I think of Mega Mind. Hmm. They need to hurry up. Have you checked out the Hunger Games? No, I haven't, B9. Um, Mega Man, Sonic, Pac-Man, Ryu, da 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 all I want is a smash. Yes, Sub-Zero, you're right. But I think a Mega Man fighter game would be great because I'd love to see Mega Man have his own fighter game, play as Mega Man, uh, uh, play as uh, Zero, um, play as, uh, you know, play as all the different, like, uh, Reploids, you know, because there was Air Man, there was uh, Cut Man, there was, um, there was, uh, uh, let's see, Mandarin, what, what was his name? Oh, oh Vile, there was Vile, there's Sigma. There's a lot of characters I'd love to see in a Mega Man fighter game. They added eight player mode in Smash Bros. Wow, what if Johnny Cage punch? So, uh, it's really fun. Soon Disney will have control over the entire world and DC vs. Marvel would be possible. JC, you're very right. Disney is on a secret mission to take over the world. Uh, yes, I do believe Disney is on a secret mission to take over the world. They've already bought out Fox Studios and, oh, uh, guys, Disney is, Disney is really becoming quite a huge superpower. Doing a fatality on a Ninja Turtle would be would make you sad. Oh, well, Matthew, yeah, that's probably why you'll never see the Turtles on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Is Disney going to try to take over Warner Brothers? Oh, we don't know. We don't know. If if, if the offer was attractive, if they offered enough money, they might. But that that might get that might become too much of a monopoly. I don't want Disney to buy Mortal Kombat and make every fatality a friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, I'm glad. Orion, no. Orion, what are you saying no to? What are you saying no to? That's why I spawned for MK11. Well, you know, I know I mentioned it earlier, but but Carnage is actually like a, a Marvel character, so that wouldn't work. But I thought Carnage would be great as a Down Combat 11. Yeah, remember the friendships from MK2? Yes, I do. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna. Go ahead and end the stream. I've been 
And um, but thank you guys for joining, showing up. Thank you for all of your ideas. My phone is starting to act a little wacky, and I've been having problems over the past few days. But guys, I'm gonna try to do this again tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. So if you do want to continue the discussion, please join me. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe, guys. I really could have used the support. And um, and definitely come back tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. By the way, I subbed and I'm new. Thank you, Arvin. I appreciate that. And thank you for joining the stream. And thank you for chatting and sharing your thoughts. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Y'all have a great night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Astronaut Disney Princesses versus Mortal Kombat. <laughs> um, I'd, have to, I, I, I'd have to go with uh, Ariel. Fun stream. Thanks, JC. Thank you. Come back, JC. Make sure you subscribe. Bye, Matthew. Thanks for the Disney princess idea. I'm voting for Ariel. She'd be my main character. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys.